In this video, I'm going to show you how XSS vulnerabilities work by demonstrating how to exploit this flaw on a website. XSS vulnerabilities work by allowing the attacker to insert his own JavaScript code into the website and then wait for other visitors to visit that same website. When they do, the JavaScript code is downloaded onto their computers and executed. Let me show you how this happens uh, in action. So, I have a website which I have created myself. This website has a guestbook inside it. The guestbook has an XSS vulnerability. So, it's a normal guestbook. I could type my message, hello world for example, and hello world is now part of the guestbook. Anyone who visits this page is going to see my message. Let's uh, see what the HTML of this looks like. Uh, the hello world is part of the HTML page and that's why it displays to the user. Let me now put in an HTML tag, tag hello bold, world, like that. Now HTML tag uh, is, looks like normal text, let me click on add message. What we will see here is it says hello bold world now. Look at the HTML code. I have manipulated not only the text on the page, but also the layout. The slash B that I put and the B tag that I put is part of the HTML page. Uh, we could do something more interesting than that. Let's do image. I'm going to link uh, to a funny image on the internet and I will take that from here. A wallpaper. Just uh, close my inverted commas there, close the tag, add a bit of protection on those quotation marks. We will add the message and scroll down. You have been hacked. So I vandalized the guestbook like this. This is funny, but it's hardly a virus. Let me inject some JavaScript code now. I have some of it prepared over here. This is called a redirect injection. It will redirect the user's browser to a website of my choice. Let's go back in. I have the script there. Added it. It's part of the website. Let me pretend I'm an unsuspecting uh, user and I go to the Accu uh, website that I have prepared before. Click on the best book. And <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you too much. Uh, this is uh, something you definitely don't want to happen uh, to your users. Uh, what else we can do is steal a cookie. This code over here will steal a cookie of the visitor by uh, opening a window to the hacker's website and transmit the document cookie with it. There's a big variety of different attacks that uh, you could uh, do using a cross-site scripting, scripting injection. Um, now, how do you stop this from happening in your website? Uh, the vulnerable uh, PHP code is here, and uh, this is what caused the bug in the first place. Uh, we could see that this is the text which is uh, posted by the user through the guestbook, is inserted directly into the guestbook database. Now, this is information, this is data which came from the user, it must never be trusted. Uh, filtering and proper validation of the input text would prevent this kind of attack. You would need to put filters for the script tag, filters for other HTML tags, uh, filters on how long the data is as well. You need to take care of SQL injections as well in this type of uh, scenario. So some sort of uh, uh, validations on the input text must always be done. Here I'm going to show you how you can uh, automate the process of uh, finding these types of errors in your website. I'm loading up the Akinetics Web Vulnerability Scanner and I'm uh, instructing it to uh, attack, uh, well, to look for XSS bugs in my website. Okay, I'm using the default uh, settings. A scan has begun and uh, cross-site scripting bugs have already been found, two of which are in my guestbook. The one that I exploited is right here. Akinetics uh, explains how the uh, injection was discovered, gives uh, uh, the option for a few tools uh, which you could use to fix the vulnerability, and it also gives you a detailed account 
of what cross-site scripting actually is to help you and your users keep yourselves safe. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions about anything that I showed you in the video, please leave them in the comments below.